Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Tuesday and this is Joanna coming to you with a grocery store haul. I got a few of the same things and a few newer things so I thought I would share with you what I got and we will put it up as I go along. So the first thing I got here is some smoked sausage and I never know if it's pork or beef that I ever get. I just pick up one but I'm going to try to remember from this point so I can try each one. I do remember smoked sausage being a little bit fatter. <laughs> if not longer but i did definitely want to get this now i wanted some bacon and there were several things i wanted at the store that were out today and i'm going to assume it is because yesterday was labor day um because they didn't have my cherry coke i got a substitute that water that i ended up liking the um smart water antioxidant there was none on the shelf in fact the shelf was cleared of water except for something called essentia and the grocery store schnooks generic brand and the alkaline 88 waters there were plenty of this size under the thing but the ones that were more portable were gone so i'm gonna assume it was because of labor day because i looked at the tags there was no specific special sale as to why they would be gone uh, so i'm guessing that was it but i did go ahead and get this water so what i do plan on doing is when i go back Certain things that I could not find, I will target those and get those in a bigger group. Like for example, when I see that water, I will buy at least six to eight bottles of those. I will get my cherry Coke. I'll start to get it in threes instead of twos and things like that. So I'm very pleased though with what I got. So again, I got this smoked sausage and I'll put these up as we go along. I got another one of these little mega meats chicken dinners and another stuffed pizza. And I find that I like the cheese one better than the other two varieties the pepperoni and the um, meat one and another thing that i got was they had these cheerios now they had one box of the ones that i really liked the first one that i tried the oats one but that box was so beat up i felt like they would have to give me a special discount if i purchased it in fact they'll need to give anybody who purchases that box a special discount it's the same one i told you where it was opened up here like split and open and squoze but they have plenty of the cinnamon ones and this is the one that i need to still try so i now have the cinnamon and the almond on hand but it is safe to say my number one favorite is the first one that I tried, that oats one. And that is the one that when I do find more, I will buy two boxes of that one. So I did go ahead and I found the Chobani Oat Plain Extra Creamy. I'm going to try this one because as y'all know, I've been using the um, vanilla one, which I do like. And then I went ahead and got another half gallon of whole milk. My other milk almost spoiled on me before I could use it up, which is weird because it used to be I would need to go through a couple of gallons of milk, but again, there's no kids in the house. And I mainly use this for my coffee drinks now. I did get two of these Prairie Farmed iced teas. I will try this one and then decide between it and the Milo brand. And of course, I got my two cans of Pringles Reduced Fat. They weren't on any particular sale today. I think they may have been $1.69 a piece. And as you can see, I bought more taffy since they are four. Is it four for five dollars or something like that? I just went ahead and got five. I was certain that I bought seven before and that I lost two bags, but I never watched the video to see exactly how many I got. So I got these and I will remember where I put these at. I did want to try some yogurts. I do like the Chobani Honey Cream one, and I think I purchased two of those. I did. Okay, I purchased two Honey Cream ones, and then I like their coffee and cream yogurt, so I purchased two of those. And new for me is going to be this pomegranate yogurt version. I got two of those, and then I wanted to try the Chobani Flip Salted Caramel and Crunch. So I just got one of those. Now, I also got some Dawn Free and Clear because I don't think I'm out of um, dishwashing liquid, but I'm not sure where my ones like this are, if they're under the sink. I just didn't feel like looking for them, so I went ahead and got another one since I was at the store. I do like that and the Bleach Alternative. However, I don't see Bleach Alternative anymore unless they've changed it into this. I did get another sparkling energy in the lemon lime. It was the last one they had. I think I like this one the best because I tried it first. I won't repeat that, um, was it strawberry kiwi that I had, but I will try the orange one 
So they all seem to be sold out a lot. And then someone on here told me about the pomegranate one. I'm looking out for that one and I will try it. I did get a box of the Famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. Whenever I can find these in a box, I get them because I'd be burning our vending machine up for these at work and they're anywhere from 75 cents to a dollar and a quarter depending on, you know, where I'm working at. They had another vanilla syrup because I was thinking I might have ordered this, but if I would have ordered it from the Tarani site, that other small one I had, then I would have ordered a big one and not a little one because I like this. So the caramel... And the vanilla and the hazelnut is what they sell in the grocery store in the regular and the sugar-free version. And I wanted to make sure I got another regular one. I really like this a lot. And even if it doesn't change the flavor of my coffee, it will soften one that's strong, kind of like my honey syrup did. And I was looking for a can of pumpkin puree. Now, you see this says 100% pure. And I almost thought it said puree. So then while I'm in the grocery store, I decide to look up pumpkin puree canned pumpkin puree thinking i'm going to find you know a picture to see whether or not it says this or whether or not it actually has the word puree on it instead i get a barrage of videos of how to make your own pumpkin puree homemade and they're boiling a pumpkin and of course standing in the grocery store i didn't have time for that <laughs> so i just went ahead and got it i figure i will open it up and see but the one that alex used in her video she said it was good and gather from target i do need to go there anyway and i need to get those almonds which are by the same brand that i end up liking those cinnamon praline almonds and i'm gonna see if theirs says pumpkin puree because she didn't show the can all that she showed was the spoon that she had the pumpkin puree in and if push comes to shove i can just send her a message and ask her um, if she has a picture of what she used the next thing that I found was this. I don't know if these will be any good or not, but I'm going to try them because I have had the Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits and I really did like them because like I said, I used to take my kids there years ago, but I'm not as into seafood as I thought that I was. I mean, Long John Silver's does not really count as true seafood. My children love true seafood. Like I will eat the Long John Silver's fish. But I don't eat scallops or clams. I don't like lobster. I don't eat crab. So my children do like that. Even when they were younger, I think my son was as young as three. So they are true seafood lovers. And me, I'm just a faux seafood lover because I'll eat Long John Silver, shrimp, fish, and chicken, and that's about it. So the last two things that I purchased here was coffee. Now, I wanted to go to Walmart. I still have to go to Walmart because y'all know that I watch Coupon Girl, and she was talking about the Toasted Graham Starbucks coffee and the Tiramisu Starbucks coffee. It is the Keurig form of their Starbucks coffee, which I want to try those. But Thursday, y'all know, is our payday. Plus, it's my last off day for the week because I'm off Monday through Thursday. I got asked to come into work just for four hours the day that I couldn't get the hours straight y'all it was from 2 30 to 6 30 but because I had to go to work the next day my actual Friday Saturday Sunday I did not go back out and I had to stop which meant because yesterday was my first off day but it was a holiday no buses ran for me to go to the store so I did not learn my lesson because I got asked to work tonight which I have several things to do. And I'm going to go ahead and work tonight. And then when I come home in the morning, I won't sleep. I will go to the laundromat. I will take that coffee that I told y'all about down to the UPS thing. And then I'm not going to be seen anymore to that Friday. So, <laughs> because I do have things that I have to do. And I don't like going out on the buses like I used to because of what we got going on. I try to go early in the morning when nothing's stirring. But these are the two that I settled on. And this is the Donut Shop Chocolate Glazed Donut and Coffee and Chicory. And I used to always hear people talk about putting chicory in their coffee, like their ground coffee in the coffee maker. And I just always wondered, there was a time when we would visit certain households at holiday time that the coffee smelled good. And back then, guys, all it was that was ground, you had Folgers and you had Maxwell House. Some of them had Maxwell House, some of them had Folgers, but certain households, there was this special scent that you could smell in the air in the coffee. So I just want to see if this is it. And that is all that I got. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope everyone has a great day. I'm going to lay down and rest so I can go into work tonight. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.